Welcome to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. This is an adventure game made by Darkling Room. The Darkfall series goes all the way back to, I think, the early 2000s. There's been quite a few games released in the series, but this is the newest one released in January of 2020. I played a little bit of one of the Darkfall games years and years ago, so I'm mostly unfamiliar with the series. The key for this was provided to me by GOG, so thanks to them, and I'll have a link to where you can buy it from them in the description. Let's start a new game. I've played this for just like five minutes to make sure things are set correctly. And what I can tell you is that an intro video is going to play that for some reason is like 80% in the right audio channel. I don't know why, but it sounds really weird to me. At least since I'm wearing headphones. Might be better on speakers. Ghostwatch is an experiment. A live paranormal investigation involving you. Our aim is to prove the existence of ghosts through paranormal experiments such as this. The venue is Harwood House. It boasts a disturbing history waiting to be experienced by you. Harwood House is now empty as it has been for decades, but you can be the eyes in the dark, watching, waiting. The house was built in 1747 as a country home for Lord Harwood, his wife and young son, Edgar. The Harwood estate was modest, stretching to a few dark wooded hills deep in the Oxfordshire countryside. A tragedy occurred in 1749 when Lord Harwood lost his son to scarlet fever. Just weeks later, his wife, Isabella, committed suicide. Reasons unknown. A mixed history then befell Harwood House. It was passed from one owner to another in quick succession. It would appear no one wanted to stay for long. In later years, the house became a hotel, a maternity hospital, and eventually a children's home. We have set up several experiments throughout the building to get deep under the fabric of the chosen location. Do ghosts hide from us, or are they unwilling to be seen? Your eyes and instincts are all that is required to join the experiment. With your help, we can prove the existence of ghosts. Okay, I'm on the train. Looks like a nice night. Yeah, I go to Bridge of Size. I'll send an Uber. I'm here. What now? Walk up the drive. Use a light if you have one. Now we're in full control. So some really interesting things I noticed off the bat is that this game is full 3D, however, it has the movement system of an old adventure game, where you move from node to node, and can only turn to certain places. You can't just walk or, or look wherever you want. I don't know if I've ever seen a game that does that, the old adventure game control system, but in a fully 3D environment. And even when you move locations, even though you obviously could do a walking animation kind of thing from one location to the other, you actually just fade out and, and teleport also like an old adventure game. It's very strange. So we have our little tablet, got a map, we're at Harward, Harwood House near Oxford. Weather, full moon, 12 degrees centigrade, it's a little bit chilly. 33% humidity, air quality, poor. And the wind is 1.02105 units of unknown units. No geomagnetic data found. Ooh. Cloud surfaces are currently unavailable. Bad signal out here, huh? We can see the thumbnails, at least. Just pictures from the journey here, I think. Train station. Oxford. Just 
the conversation that we just saw. And then these are basically just restating what the intro video has to say. About Ghostwatch. Ghostwatch is an experiment. A live our aim. We have set up several remote. Yeah, there's nothing really new in there. What's also really strange is that there's almost no controls. As far as I can tell, it's basically almost entirely mouse control. The only controls that exist based on mashing my keyboard because there's no controls listed in the options menu. It, oh, and why does this video quality keeps getting reset to medium? I don't know why. I keep setting it to high. Uh, for mashing my keyboard, I found out that F turns on and off the flashlight and I opens up the inventory menu, but you can also open up the inventory menu just with the right click. So pretty much everything's mouse operated. It's weird because then you have to manually tap on the X to go back. You can't press escape or anything like that. Anyway, that stuff probably only matters to me, but I find it kind of interesting. I really love the flashlight thing, though. The fact that it's a fully 3D environment allows you to have a flashlight that interacts really nicely with the environment, allows you to look over all of it and move it around in a really cool way. You can do that in 2D, but I don't think it would look quite as good. Adds a nice level of creepiness. This is really just perfect for ghosts, isn't it? Tragic death of a child. And then, was it the wife that committed suicide? And then this place was also later used for children and a maternity ward and stuff like that. Like, just perfect. There's gonna be dozens of ghosts. Come in, over. I just got an achievement, arrival at Harwood House. Over. Come in, over. Wait, do I have a walkie-talkie? Because this isn't a walkie-talkie. No, that's not it. No, Jen. Looking for the newbie? Aha! Uh -huh. The others have started already. Are you ready? Over. Pick up the night vision camera. And you may as well grab an EMF too. Oh, that's so weird. Most of these things are 2D. And they look really strange and out of place. Not all of them are though. Got the night vision camera. Do you know how the EMF works? No. The EMF meter senses changes in the electromagnetic field. Some say it's the first sign of paranormal activity. If it hits red, you better be ready with another gadget. Oh, I was supposed to read that all while you were talking? Damn, okay. Well... I think I get it. Okay. Look your left towards the house. E yep, that that's me, middle floor. Can you see me? Right. I'm Steve. We swapped emails via the site. I'm head of the OPG, and uh, you, you're the new recruit. 
I hope you're excited about your first all-night vigil. Over. So they're actually in person there? Not just like monitoring remotely? That's comforting if there's actually another human being here. Hi, newbie. You're late. Or are we early? Either way, grab a walkie and call in. Units are by the van. Lots to get through tonight. Excited? Good. Steve. I'm sure I'm supposed to go meet Steve, but screw that. I want to explore the yard. I love that wind sound. Hmm. No feedback on how many digits it is. These premises are monitored. Trespassers and vandals will be prosecuted. What the heck is this? What is that locking exactly? As far as I can tell, nothing. The lock is around a chain and the chain is around the grate. Visually, I don't understand. <laughs> this... is that related to the lock? Not sure, but I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Okay, look your left towards the house. suits me. You're in the attic for an all-nighter. Look up. 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 Yep. You. You're on the top floor tonight. The, the whole house is new territory for us, but the attic is different. Cut off. Access is tricky because the service stairs have gone. They collapsed years ago. Dry rotten pigeon shit. So, uh. So, you'll have to climb the fire escape to the roof. I tried it, it's safe enough. You'll find access to the attic rooms from there. Over. Oh, right, we got a couple new audio files. Harwood House. The house was built in 1747 as a country home for Lord Harwood, his wife and young son, Edgar, an isolated moderate manor house hidden away in the Oxfordshire countryside. The Harwood estate was modest, stretching to a few dark wooded hills deep in the Oxfordshire countryside. 
surrounded on all sides by woodland known as Wolfenden. The area is steeped in folklore and superstition. A tragedy occurred in 1749 when Lord Hyde. We've already heard that, I think. Pretty much most of it. Fire Escape. The Fire Escape is a modern addition to Harwood House, offering safe passage in the event of fire. Security warnings suggest the old house is safe from intruders, but we found evidence of a break-in. Persons unknown. I like these little bits of facts about the different parts of the house. Um, we also have some more items to check out, including this, which apparently we can bring back up. Gadget info for noobs, beginners, and rookies. Read this carefully so we don't have, as we don't have time for explanations. The colors, green is normal, yellow is power source, red is live source, or start of a haunting. Loud continuous whine, get out of there. Stage one, EMF meter baseline test. Check your designated area for natural or paranormal energy sources. Hmm. Ghosts choose the words to hear. Stage two. Ghost box auto radio scanner. Switches between all radio frequencies. Listen for key words. It's not all random. Stage three. Voice recorder. EVPs. A phenomenon which ghost voices are captured to old style magnetic tape. Decipher the meaning. Oh. Get inside and set yourself up. It's going to be a long night. Up and safe. Good. Make your way inside. When you're ready. I'm playing this with the audio super jacked high and also playing at night, so pretty sure if there's any jump scares, it's going to scare the shit out of me. I should probably just leave that reader out all the time. Come in. Are you inside? Excellent. Collect the other gadgets and instructions. Voice recorder. Ghost box. Oxford Paranormal Group. Name Steve. Time 13, uh, 12, 13 a.m. Monitored. Yes. Nothing else. Summer 1984 has been a good year for stargazers. Clear skies and low pollution has meant excellent clear skies of the transit of Venus across the sun. Oxford City Radio. Breaking news. There have been ongoing protests in Oxford City Centre. The group is boycotting BBC coverage of the Olympics in Los Angeles. 
The official organizers of the 1984 Olympics are making a statement later. The intro and outro music are almost longer than the news segments themselves. Breaking news. Students across Oxford are celebrating their exam results. It Cursed. Grab the lantern, not that I need it, I have a flashlight. <laughs> the hell did we just hear? Random frequency, right. And we also got this, Oxford Ghosts, True Stories of Odd Happenings. Compiled by Theta Haining and Harry Borley. First published December 1976. Introduction. This new collection of ghost stories will examine the lesser known and rarely whispered tales that echo around the county of Oxfordshire. In our research, we discovered a wealth of reported phenomena to the north of Oxford, in the dark low hills of Wolfenden, once the country estate of the Harwood family. It was a dark October afternoon in 1975 when we made our first visit. The estate was a crumbling mess, host to a children's home and little else but the stories survive. Here in this slender volume, you will find the collected stories and tales of the paranormal that have occurred in an area already steeped in myth. I don't know how long this is, but this is important to read. How long is it? Eh, it's not too bad. Pale boy. Passing motorists have reported seeing a deathly child standing by the entrance to the Harwood estate, dating back to the 1930s. The boy is described as thin, gaunt, with sunken eyes and old-fashioned clothes. On December 24th, 1945, a midwife returning home to Oxford after her rounds stopped her car to ask the poor wretch why he was standing in the snow. He said one word, Jemima, and then disappeared before her eyes. In his place, a yellow canary then flew off towards the house. Newlyweds George and Matilda Lewis were driving past the Harwood Estate on the solstice, 1973, and witnessed the lonely boy standing by the entrance to Harwood House. Matilda insisted they stop, even though both were aware of the haunted spot. Matilda approached the boy, who said, We only need five more to play, then the dark fall will go away. Again, like the 40s case, the boy disappeared and was replaced by a bright songbird. Lady Isabella of Harwood House The ghost of Lady Isabella Harwood is said to haunt the house and grounds of the Wolfenden estate. Isabella died in 1749, but has been seen wandering the gardens and greenhouse, looking for her son Edgar, or seeking solace from visitors. It is interesting to note that Lady Isabella has only been witnessed by male visitors to the house, is she seeking love from the beyond? Henry Simmons, a delivery driver from Summertown, witnessed Lady Isabella beckoning him to the greenhouse. She was lovely, but I knew she wasn't real. She just drifted backwards through the doors. 
Matron of Shangri-La Children's Home was not keen to discuss the ghosts, as there were children present on our visit. But she did admit that she has seen the beautiful ghost. When I was very young, a nurse at Shangri-La, I saw Lady Harwood in front of her portrait. I was overwhelmed by the smell of roses, so many scents and perfumes. The Burning Boy. <laughs> Great. I bet we're going to encounter all of these ghosts. The Burning Boy is a terrifying apparition witnessed by many in the rooms and halls of the Shangri-La Children's Home. The boy is said to be a lonely child from the 1950s, one of the first to arrive at the school. Unfortunately, he was left unattended in the day room while playing board games by an open fire. His tunic was caught by the flames and the poor boy burnt to death. His ghost is said to wander in search of a worthy opponent. A worthy opponent? To their board game? Some of the children at Shangri-La were able to speak to us on our visit away from the watchful eye of the matron. He's sad. He doesn't realize that he'll burn us, said Reshma. We've had to hide the game pieces to stop him, said Vicky, who is clearly terrified for her life and those of her friends. So I should keep a lookout for hidden game pieces. Because I think I'm going to have to play. Thomas Harding, a teacher at Shangri-La, has also had experience of the cursed child. I've smelt the burning. Yeah, even when the fire's out. But Harwood is said to be riddled with passages and tunnels, so it could be coming from anywhere. I asked Mr. Harding if he had experienced any other phenomena, and he looked startled. I've seen a few things. He whispered. I've seen the dark shape of Harwood himself vanish from his portrait. This faithful reader we must see for ourselves. Unfortunately, all requests are flatly refused by the matron. Lost Lovers Pitiful and desperate shouts for help have been heard from the interior walls of Harwood House. Witnesses report hearing the cries and shouts of a man and a woman, clearly calling for aid. The old house was a hotel in the 1920s, very popular with the well-to-do for parties and frolicking. So many believe the couple may have got trapped in a secret passage while playing a particularly lively game of sardines. Game of sardines? I don't know what that is. The party game was popular in the 20s and consists of guests, often couples, hiding in the house, often for amorous reasons. Did the couple get trapped? If so, why were they never missed? I've heard him, said the caretaker at Shangri-La. They're suffocating to death. There's an old passage that snakes round the chimney stack from Harwood's time. They must have got stuck in there. He's posh. She's local. We know that much, said Barry, a chimney sweep from Woodstock. I've heard them so many times. They found a way in, got to business, and realized the smoke from the stack has stolen the air. They couldn't get out the Darkling. Many myths and folktales surround the wooded fields at Wolfenden. Fairy folk, changelings, elves, and of course the Darklings. These nocturnal creatures stem from medieval stories of devil creatures, like imps and goblins, that crawl from a black bottomless pit hidden away from prying eyes. No geological or topographical information has ever come to light regarding the chasm, so if a dark pool or deep cave did exist, it has long since gone. We found one witness, Beverly Coles of the Jericho Tavern, said she encountered a darkling while visiting her brother at Shangri-La in 1969. Well, kids tell stories, don't they? So I never took them seriously, the sightings, she began. But I've seen one and heard it. Beverly was in the office at the care home, an official appointment with the matron. It was just me. Matron was running late. And that's when I heard it, she falters, remembering back. Uh, there was a shadow, like a person, just dark, no features, just watching me. And then it whispered my name. She stops to calm her nerves. I never want to see one again. What did it want? How did it know my name? 
John Draker, a council road worker, said he heard the shouts of a man in distress while working on potholes near the Harwood estate on the morning of the 1st of February, 1974. I thought he was in trouble from the way he was shouting, he said cautiously. I could just about make him out, and he had women's hair, you know, like a wig. Uh, white, it, white it was, like a judge. I walked across the lower field towards him, but he just seemed to get further away. I stepped forward, he drifted away. He kept saying the same thing. Jericho, Harwood, Darkfall. I think we really are probably going to encounter all of those. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come in. You've got to sign in to the system. Uh, just sign in as a guest for now. Until we uh, decide what we're doing with you. Once you've logged in, go to the... Log in to the system as, as a guest. Can you hear me? I like that we're just completely silent. We never say anything. Even when they directly ask a question. Can you hear me? Silence. Leave them guessing. Mysterious. So if I could get their passwords, I could log in as them. But let's do guest, which has no password, it looks like. Please choose something distinctive and inoffensive. Marsh. Transferring a uh, app to your device. Drains messing with the feed, dead batteries. Uh, this is Ben. Say again, Steve. Steve. I'm talking to the newbie. Okay. What's up with the batteries? They're dead. Right on it. Yeah, power problems. Pretty normal on a job like this. But uh, yeah, I uh, I see you got logged in. Interesting choice of name. Over. Okay. Check out your assignment list. Okay. Click the OPG app icon, then the select the select the files icon. Any problems? Give me a buzz. Achievement unlocked. Log into the OPG software, Master Ghost Hunter. Hmm, what is this? Is this for like analysis? I think this is for like analysis of recordings, which we don't have yet. Unprocessed audio files appear as audio tape icons with a red dot. Complete projects appear as a waveform with a blue dot. I have a feeling these like, um, I, I think there's going to be a lot of sort of mini games collecting evidence of the ghosts. And that just sounds really interesting to me. Guys, we made it. Harwood House is ours for the night. Yeah, it's taking a bit of planning, but here we are. Glad our network is working. Because I'm not getting any signal from town. None? Weird, you'd think we'd have a good 4G. Ghosts are blocking the signals. Stephen Redfern joined March 18th. Team leader founder, physics student at Balliol College, founded the OPG after a paranormal experience as a child. 
Benjamin Bear Travers, tech drone and setup, studying computer science at Merton College, Oxford. Bear likes noodles, beer, and 80s cartoons. Jennifer Somers, research and experiments, English history and literature student at Magdalen College, Oxford. Great researcher with potential ESP. Nice. And then me. Oh, I wish I could set my avatar. <laughs> rather creepy. Choose a topic or response. Oh, I can talk? Uh, let's look at our task list. Baseline test. EMF. Check your assigned space for sources of electrical power that may give misleading results. Look for hidden power points and cables. Unexplained electromagnetic energy is thought to be a disturbance as a ghost tries to manifest. Check for misleading results. Gotcha. Capture an EVB, EVP to a full walk around using the dictaphone slash voice recorder to capture an example of electronic voice phenomena. Use our EVP software to decipher any recordings on your tablet. Ghost box. Maybe I shouldn't read them all at once. Do some of them and then <laughs> look at what else we have to do. Otherwise, I'll just forget it all. Let's try talking, I guess. Hello, anyone there? Hi, welcome aboard. I'm Jen. Hello, I'm Bear. You'll be hearing from me soon. You finally got logged in. Well done. What's a baseline test? We kind of already know, but let's see if they say anything useful. If your area one's over with the EMF. Take out your EMF and look for energy sources. Do a good job. We depend on the baseline. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take it out and walk around. Uh, this is the right one, right? For the baseline test? The right tool? What are all of our tools? We have the radio, we have the electrical... Yeah, this is the electrical thingy, night vision camera. Uh, this is to listen for radio frequencies, and this is to record anything. Electronic voice phenomenon. Yeah, okay. Come in, over. Check out your assignment list. I did, my dude. Come in, over, check out your assignment list. I did, my dude. Do you really want me to go in here and then you'll leave me alone? Just creepy whisperings in the background all the time. Oxford, Corpus Christi College, founded in 1516. Greetings from Headington. I think that says Headington. Oh. Oh, the oh, 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 I just realized something really interesting about this thing. The reading that you get depends on where you're looking. It's that specific. It's not just like where your character is physically. But if I mouse over the uh, remote camera we've got up here, then it starts to go off. So that's how I can look very specifically for any sources of power, is just kind of mouse over everything. The Magic Flute. the ESP experiment. The aim is to match the cards. Use your memory and instinct. You're looking to match the ESP cards. 
This is a test to see whether I have ESP. This thing is giving off electrical energy. Makes sense, because it's an electrical device. Not sure how this demonstrates ESP. Unless I just got it right the first time without checking any, then I guess that'd be really good. Wait, that one's wave? Oh. That doesn't demonstrate ESP at all. The only ability I use is... Memory. <laughs> I remembered what cards were which. Can we play again? I'm sure I can do better than next time. Circle square, star, wave. Circle, square, star, wave. Circle, square, wave. Circle. Oh, circle, square, right. This one. Excellent, you passed again? That's impressive early days, but the energy seems to be focused on you. I'm not demonstrating ESP. Should I do it again? I'll do it one more time. Square star. Square star plus. Square star plus wave. Square star. Square plus wave, circle, plus square plus wave, plus plus, square plus wave, uh, yeah, square plus wave, so square, wave, circle, wave, square, circle. I have no idea if that makes any sense to you, but in my head, what I'm saying makes sense. every day. I've never passed three times in one night. You're the perfect candidate for an experiment. Try and make contact with the spirit board. Ask personal questions based on what you've learned. You did great work with the ESP test. Top mark. What's the spirit board? Because we haven't found it yet. Nineteen eighty-two, Wolfenden College, Thames Valley Schools. I love all the period-appropriate posters and pictures and all sorts of stuff. And this place has such a long history that they're from all over. You know, some of it's from when it was a place for children. Some of it's when it was place was a college. Was it a college? It was a hotel once. And then, of course, it was a place where people just lived hundreds of years ago. They get old family photos. Ooh. So I just have to mouse over and just acknowledge its existence. I guess. I assume the game is silently logging which things I've moused over. Hmm, 
Blank Notebook. It's an adventure game, Blank Notebook. You know what I'm thinking, Invisible Ink or something? Oxford Science. Wolfenden College. You there? Over. Any uh, clues about who occupied the attic rooms? Did they work here? And uh, if so, what was their role? Oh, that's what I'm doing. Hmm. Um, looks like a teacher? They were marking textbooks? Yeah, yeah. Harwood House was a children's home. Yep, confirmed. Sometime in the 80s? Done with the baseline reading test, right? Does it get checked off? Oh, the ESP card experiment is actually one of the tasks. We did it. Baseline test is still not done. Oh, they're talking. Gonna take a look around the day room. Yeah, there's a good presence in that room. What's with the painting? The sad boy. Aha! Uh -huh. The infamous crying boy painting. It's supposed to be cursed. Oh! Surprised emoji. <laughs> the thermal cam goes crazy in that room. Like the place is on fire. Really? Can I borrow? Please. No! It's your own! That's the burning boy. What am I doing with the ESP cards? Just try to match the pairs. Let the spirits guide you. Yeah, are we really not done with the baseline test? There must be something left if it hasn't completed. be really th thorough. Like, do I have to log it specifically? I don't think so. I've got a job if you fancy. We need someone to watch the camp. Try and log what kind of phenomena you're witnessing. Guessing the beep indicates a detected movement. Identified zero out of seven. This is cool. It's like a bunch of mini games, which makes sense because you're collecting evidence. It's all about looking at fine details and cataloging stuff. The scene has changed. The software is able to detect slight movement or change in the camera view. Pinpoint the changes by clicking the area in which the phenomena occurs. Some changes are hard to spot. Yeah, that moved. The flowers. Hmm. 
what's changing. I could cheat just by like breaking my cursor all over the whole screen, but I don't want to do that. Oh, chair down here changed. It did change, but I can't mark it. Hmm. What is it? I don't see it. Oh. This writing's writing is appearing here. Oh, you can't click it if it's in the unchanged state, only when it's abnormal. Oh, the cards. Evidence will be evaluated and confirmed by the operator. Thanks. This is a creepy ass room, Jesus Christ. What is all this? Record and classify your evidence using the button icons. Each button represents a different form of paranormal phenomena. A successful ghost hunt is all about the evidence. Choose the right haunting type to increase your experience. I'm going to be evaluated at the end of the game, aren't I? On how well I did this stuff. And whether they hire the newbie on for more jobs or just ditch me. So I need to figure out what sort of phenomena is happening. Sound voice. Orb? Like camera? Figure or time event? Let's just wait, I guess. Should something be happening? Oh. Oh, that's a time event. No phenomena. To that's nothing. I think you have to press it while it's happening. Why'd my bar disappear? Come back. <laughs> I lost the right to determine anything. Oh, sound. Data recorded. Wow, that's not something you see every day. So is it just one and done? Whoa. Oh, that'd be orb. just weird like the one spotting the changes had seven changes i needed to spot and listed them all why do i have to keep going back to that one? Oh, i guess i don't i can go to anyone <laughs> coughing or was that just nothing. somebody just coughing over the radio <laughs> Figure. Next to the door on the left of the door. Hey, well done. Excellent, you passed again. So many orbs. <laughs> Oh, 
So you really have to spot it right away. It doesn't just like keep changing. Oh shit! Figure. Good effort. You're doing really good. You're doing a great job. Have you noticed how many orbs are in this place? What's up with that? I keep doing this? Like, am I supposed to do this forever? Somebody gonna tell me, hey, great job, you're done. <laughs> Sound? You've got talent for goat hunting. Nope, that's negative data. Sorry. Do you have to wait till the coughing's over or something? I'm gonna close. Surely I'm not supposed to just keep doing that forever. How are we doing on tasks? CCTV monitor is complete. Spirit board. Conduct a seance using the spirit board. I still need to do more baseline EMF tests. Oh. What are they talking about? Glitching a lot. I'm seeing things. Yeah, same here. Paranormal? Or something creating a disturbance? Like some sort of natural EMP? EMP? Electromagnetics, either natural or artificial. It'll mess with anything digital. Creepy. I was just trying to click and like see if I could log electromagnetic disturbance. On each cam, indicated with the blue marker. There's orbs and figures popping up everywhere. Radio is a big source, of course. Oh, we haven't gotten into this room at all, have we? Let me finish the hallway out here. Is that lantern giving off energy? <laughs> Steve, what's up with your paper? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this room. We just saw like 20 different phenomena in here. There's the seance board. Talk to the dead. Is anybody there? Who are you? Did you die 
die here? Are they supposed to be moving it? Am I supposed to be moving it? Anybody there? Oh, it shook a bit. Do I ask again? I don't understand. I'll come back to that in a minute. stopped at a certain time in an adventure game that always might mean something. It's actually on a letter now. Anybody there? Like, does this just mean that there's nobody here? Oh, I keep coming back and it's on a letter. Maybe it just means nobody's here. Well, let's see if it's been checked off. Hmm, yes. And the answer is no. no. Nothing's there. Still, more EMF readings. We do keep hearing creepy noises in here. Not related to EMF, but... Let's also listen. Let's listen. from analog device. Pick words that match the sound, then click validate. A correct sequence may yield further vocal patterns or sentences. Oh, that sounds really cool. Why did she pick me? Why did she pick me? Successfully digitized. Was that one of my goals? Mm, yeah, but I guess I haven't done all the ones that are available. Let's look for some more recordings. You there? Over. Have you, uh, have you seen anything about a local town or city? Mm, 
Wolfenden, a local village. No, no, no hits there. Tough luck. Well, fuck me. So I, like, really gotta pay attention to the stuff that we see. And think about what it means, like, even the existence of the posters. Think about what they're talking about and what they're about. I think they did mention Cambridge. But that's, that's not a local village, though, is it? Oh, Oxford. Maybe it was Oxford, not Cambridge. Come in, over. Yeah, hi. Jen wants to know more info. Any more info about your mystery attic dweller? Where did they come from? Were they local? One of the villages? Oxford. Uh, no. You'll have to do better than that. Do we tip a but they had Oxford posters. Just leave me alone so I can record. but they get results. An asshole who gets results is still an asshole. talking to me, I think. They want me to ask them and I guess they'll answer on the Ouija board? I can't ask them about Isabella. Still not interested in answering. Have you, 
uh, have you seen anything about a local town or city? Oh shit, you're gonna want to know about it again? Okay, well, Wolfenden was the wrong answer. There are postcards of Oxford. Uh, yeah, it's the nearest city. It makes sense. Good job. Thanks. Yeah, I noticed that on the map when I checked the map. You know. This one. Oxford. go outside? <laughs> Would out here be relevant to anything? <laughs> Did that not capture it? Nope, they did. Just didn't do the usual thing it does. seem to have an interloper? No eyes, blind eyes, can see you. Hey guys? Who the hell is this? Don't know. I thought our Wi-Fi was private. Bear? Hey buddy, sorry, but this is a private network. Oh, I see. It's just you saying it's private. Idiot. Deep down, down here, others like me. Okay, dude, time to go. Creep. Tricking you with tricks, knows you, can see you. Hey, clear off, we're not interested. They've gone. Well, that was a bit weird. Uh, I can ask more questions, but... Uh, now that I know I need to look outside... Let's do this for a little bit. symbols up here. So, what do you get up to? We're not stuck doing an all-night vigil. I've got a quiz night tomorrow at the Eagle in Oxford. Get off the comms, Ben. Just saying. Nice try, Bear. I can't go down, can I? Am I supposed to investigate down here? I thought I was supposed to stay up there. Maybe I am? I don't know.
Well, I was thinking I'd kind of finish the whole attic thing before ending the episode, but since it seems like we can go down and maybe have to look at the entire yard, I think I should stop here. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed so far. I have. This, this is turning out really interesting and not what I was expecting at all. Hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.